This is Team Sport Mitcham, a rental track in South London where me and Paolo raced at a couple of months ago. And whilst we're having an amazing race, this incident happened, which nearly broke Paolo's ribs. And he was not too happy about this. I'll let you listen in. Are you fucking me? What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck? Now I will say that apart from that incident, Team Sport Mitchum is a great track and the marshals there are lovely. But will the driving standards be a little bit better this time? Let's find out. So as we cut to after the yellow light test, we have the lights going green and there's a big group of drivers in front. Our tyres aren't warm so I'm going to play it a little bit cautious for now but we still want to go for some great overtakes. One of the key things here is using your brakes for rotation. At Preston you only have to break down the ramp for rotation but there's three or four different places you have to break here. So as we throw it down the inside for our first overtake of the race, we're going to boost up the ramp here and try and cut through the middle of both of these drivers. We're going to go around the outside of the driver at Orange and we're going to power down the straight for our first flying lap here at Team Sport Mitchum. Cross the line, dab brakes rotation into that corner, flat out all the way now, down this ramp and flat out through this right hander. A lot of people brake there and it does screw over their lap times. You don't want to brake through that corner just to flick of the cart to rotate the cart. And flick, flick once again to go to right arm and boost up the ramp. Use half your boost here and I'll show you where to boost for the rest. Dab a brake rotation through there as well. And once again, dab a brake through this corner to rotate the cart and lock up the back tyres to transfer the weight to the front. Another dab of brakes rotation there is a recurring theme here as you've probably guessed and we're going to use our second bit of boost up this ramp here. The great thing about this boost button is you can split it so you can use it in two different places. You just got to hold it down for one and hold it down for the other and it will reset on the line here but make sure to use it in the right place. And that is our flying lap of Team Sport Mitchum. A good time is about a 40 seconds flat but the fastest is the 38-37 seconds. So we switch, try and edge it around the outside of this drive, but we don't quite have enough speed. So we're gonna, he's going to brake, so we're going to boost up the ramp here and try and get a surprise in him. We do manage to go around his inside, and that's another overtake done, but it goes to red. As we cut back to some action here, we're going to have to have a massive skill issue on my behalf. So we're trying to get past all these big group of drivers here. We try and switch to the inside, but we don't quite have enough speed. And then this happened, which is really unfortunate. So I have a look to my right, there's no one there, but then I get stuck around the outside this driving green I don't have enough space to turn and that is a massive skill issue on my behalf now that we've got ourselves out of that rather embarrassing situation it's going to go to yellow here and these guys speed off and they go straight to green so we're going to try and get some more crazy overtakes here at Team Sport Mitchum if you have got this far in the video comment your favourite F1 driver and let me know who it is mine is personally Lewis Hamilton but I'd love to know who, you, who your favourite drivers are as we come up at the ramp here we're going to try and do a move on this driver in green as we try and switch the inside, but he still has the inside line for the next corner, so the next one's right-hander. So we come down the ramp, we're going to try and go around the outside, but unfortunately this driving front brakes really hard for absolutely no reason. But that's right, we'll get him down the inside on this next corner. But actually no, he manages to spin out, we go try and go past both of them here on the restart. We get past one, but can we get past the second driver in front? Let's see. So as we come through the tight chicanes, he's going to get a black flag, and then we're going to go past him as he goes into the pits and an easy overtake up the ramp. So as we're coming down the ramp, we're gonna try and go around the outside of this driver in green and we managed to boost to pull it off. Can we go around down the inside of this driver? Yes, we can. If he brakes far too hard, and we go around the inside of him as well. Driver in front has a little bit of contact with the wall, so it should be an easy overtake because he's an inexperienced driver. Another tip I can give you for Mitchum is be patient. This is quite a technical track, so a lot of new drivers make a lot of mistakes on some of the tight corners. So if you're patient enough, you can go around with them and capitalise on their mistakes and not have to do too much work yourself. So as we cut to the tight technical chicane here, we're going to try and boost up the ramp and overtake this driver. And we do manage it, so we switch to the inside and go straight down the inside of this driver in green. Another driver in green spins out and that leaves this other driver to be able to catch up to us again. But we still got the inside line for the next corner and we throw it down the inside. He brakes really hard, so we manage to go around the outside of him again. That's another two overtakes done, nice and easy. So once again, we're going to cut to the tight technical chicane. This is a great place to catch up to drivers and overtake them. And for the second time in two laps, we're going to boost up the ramp to overtake another driver in green on the inside. This is almost an identical move. But luckily this time, the driver in front doesn't slow us down too much. We managed to pull it off with ease. As we come up to this big group of drivers here, one of them spins out. But we do try and manage to go around the outside here, which we do. Coming down the ramp, we're going to try and use our smooth steering to try and catch up even more. 
as these guys are battling, we're going to catch up and overtake this one driver around the inside, boost up the ramp once again to try and gain some speed on this driver in green. He overtakes his car and brakes far too hard, so we manage to get right alongside him and we have the inside line for the next corner. Well, I back off, it's going to be a bit too tight through there. And it goes back to red. As we cut to another battle upstairs with another driver in green, we're going to go try and go around the outside of this driver on this next corner, but it won't quite pay off as we don't quite have enough speed. So we're going to decide to play it safe and switch back to the left hand side and the outside and try and cut through the inside, which we do manage to do. But can we use the boost button to catch up? You think he's using the boost button well, which means he's found out about it. But no, he's just not quite quick enough. We managed to go around the outside to go that one overtake. That's another easy overtake done here at Team Sword Nature. And for the last overtake of the session, we actually have an illegal overtake by me. So I overtake on yellow because I didn't even realise there was a yellow light. I immediately apologise and let these guys pass. And if you guys made this far in the video, make sure to comment how many overtakes we did in total. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more karting content on YouTube and like and comment the video. And I'll be sharing another overtake video at Team Swap Pressure here in a couple of days' time. See you boys next one. We racing out.